Hello everyone, it's me, Moses23, and today we are reviewing the Kingdom Maximal um, Fossilizer um, Dragacon. Yeah, Dragacon. I don't know what you say, but there, I'm calling him Dragacon. So this is a Maximal Dump Surprise, and he, so this is actually him in his beast mode, because it's kind of hard to transform into beast mode. So this is him. So you see his Maximal Signature. Oh uh, yeah, it looks pretty small, but you can dig it. But if me looking at the camera, you can see it well. He has some golden detail, and I really don't know which is for me, because the D, I mean, it could be a dragon. That's the only thing, but this guy doesn't look anything like a dragon. I mean, he's not, and, and don't even say Kabolo dragon. So, um, yeah, so guys, look at the details of the mouth, and he also has some little letters in here. Yeah, you guys can't see the letters, because I'm looking right into the camera, like, not see me either, see either. <clears throat> but he had, but he looks a lot kind of scale, scaly. Hmm. Yeah, so guys, I'm going to transform this guy, as you know. I'm going to show guys the instructions, this is the back. Um, the food. Okay, so guys, look, it says you have to put the tail of the card back, but I actually don't know how to do that. I just know it's like he looks like he has an iPad. See, like the other eyes more wider than the other one. So, let's look at the transformer. So, guys, so it's supposed to transform. Hey, okay, guys, hey, guys, did you really know he's not come like this? I already did this for a reason, which I'll show you guys later. So, you pull off the tail, you leave the legs down, and you open these arms up. And you heard that little clock. I don't want to break this guy since my mom paid for this guy for what, what, what I was supposed to. And his head is, take his head wise by the head. Then you open is this up. Then you um push his head through. Then you open this. Now you can see his head. Pretty simple steps. I mean, this head kind of looks like quick strike if you take off the head. Does it kind of look like this? Especially if you like this. This looks like quick strike's like, um, head thing. Who just went so guys, this is so, so difficult to fit, articulation. Articulation. So you just, he has this. He doesn't have no arm, no arm articulation. He's trying to do this. He has pointy things. Pointy things, why I say that? Okay, yeah, and on, like, um, the other fossilizer, Paleo tracks. He he does not come apart to a billion pieces. Which I'm kind of surprised because mostly all the fossilizers do that. But uh, I actually wanted the vertebrae guy to so be a predicon. Just to add to my predicon cast since, you know, we have like three more people that I'm missing from my cast. There's an all right out, but it's not like you just go to Wobble and be like, oh, he's there's or this is the articulation of him, the legs, you do, you have, you have like little, um, go back and forth, I don't know what that's called, the, the, there's ball joints on the legs, and like the feel like kind of detailed it. Look at the back, now I, now, the boss I took you earlier, I don't really know how you put this, cause the tail looks the same on all sizes, especially, I, I wish I put it like color, color or something, like made the scales look different. So this kind of reminds me of Beast Megatron with like the arms on his side. Oh yeah, you also like put the blade like inside of his hand. Hand. I like the. I always like to put my toys. So this like um hands in this one because you both in the show you see him firing with this hand. Like Scorponok, for example. You see Scorponok always like fires with his um with his left hand with his wait wait wait. Right, right hand, I guess. When he's pointed this way, is his left, I think. So he's only pointed this way. Sometimes he might use this one, but it's mostly his cyber beam. <clears throat> so there's not really much about them that I can show you guys. So guys, um, so guys, this is tell you why they were transforming. Excuse me, look, give me a second. Open up the back. You flip this. So guys, you see this? It was kind of hard for me to push the arms in, and I was scared if I did it again, I might break this guy, and I'm gonna be really sad. I mean, I already did that. I mean, I already did that. Rest in peace, no. Guys, um, so guys, I actually wanted to do that. I actually wanted to give him, like, this little gun, which which is from, um, Ironworks. I just took his gun apart because it looks like a little pistol, but in his hand, it looks, it looks really big in his hand. So, anyway, that's comparisons of all the kingdom toys I have so far. Ugh.
let's begin with some goals for Barnes and Maximus since I have basically all the prayer cards. I mean, that's my goal for Christmas to collect all the prayer cards. So here is, um, okay, let me try to put them back. Dang, I wish I just came on. Okay, we'll put them in here for the like this. So, okay, guys, see me at Rhinox. He's pretty small. Now, let me get my newest toy I got on Tuesday. It was supposed to be for Valentine's Day, but we couldn't go there. So, she was busy. This is my Kingdom Tigertron, which I actually found at Walmart. And I found Tigertron on Target. So, um, so, so, um, so, um, so, guys, I live in um, Michigan and just wanted to get some Tigertron toys out. So, if you guys are looking for Tigertron, you can probably go to Walmart or Tiger. So it doesn't really look, he looks the same size as Rhinox. It's a little bit shorter. And like I said earlier, Scorbrock, he's probably the most smallest. But dang, boy, look how small Scorbrock is. Look how he looks like he's medium person. I'm gonna give my, um, in my, um, was made a review, you should totally watch in my other reviews. I might have to, like, put some color to some tape on this guy's I mean, see, I look like Chance was, because I kind of wanted to, Chance was a beaner, so he's only, like, at his here. Now, let me get Dino by which I actually found that bar. It's pretty surprising, I mean, I, I, mean, I thought I had the older Amazon of this guy. So he's, he looks, he kind of looks like the exact same size as that. Chubb will look comparison to that in about the show. And time to get the most committed, the most comedy character in ever and be ever in Transformers. And you know that is Lazonator. So he's up, oh wait, 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 it looks. So um, his legs are not really straight on up. He's like right the same size as Tarantulas. Well, let me get um payload tracks. Which should okay, be dang boy is every toy made the same scale. I mean look he's oh he's actually longer. I did I think that's because his longs are are longer. If the guy himself Make it strong. Just kidding. I just put his feet to make a book bigger. Cause I, cause I don't like Dinobot. Cause Dinobot, he was like really, he was like right here in the show. And I don't like Dinobot being that big cause he's a Fox I mean, I had not seen the Jurassic Park movie. They're pretty small. And you like, look, let me get this. So guys, this one means you guys look at this. I mean, look how big this T-Rex is and this Velociraptor. He looks pretty small, but in the show, they look really big. So this is how big Megatron looks. Hmm. Oh, guys, if you guys are looking for a Megatron either, again, I live in USA, Michigan. So you, so you guys might be... So I, I always see this guy at Target. I mean, I always see Megatron at Target. So that's all the size comparisons. Okay, so guys, um, this was cost ten dollars, and let me put my weight. I'm about to put, put a weight in for these toys. Now, since you just I did not do. So I like this guy. I gave him a eight out of ten. I'm, I'm giving this guy a eight out of ten or seven out of ten, just because he's uh, just because he doesn't come apart at my payout drugs. He comes apart a lot. I mean, I mean, it's so hard to play versus. Look at this guy. I mean, I, can, I mean, I put the gun up here because I can hardly put it in the hand because it kept on falling down and falling apart. Oh, that's the case, guys. One dude, um, this that was just a battle mask. So, um, the scale pretty perfect. The only thing I don't have a problem with is a white chest one thing. I mean, I mean, I mean, kind of looks like a weird Velociraptor, but come on, guys. I mean, this is a baby, baby Velociraptor to be small as a tarantula. What, what, did this, did they just want to sell my core classes and stop making the classes as well? So guys, actually, go to the other toys I have on. I reviewed the, um, the Wasbonator. So the Wasp, I'll give this guy a, oh, wait, Wasbonator, close that up there, our kids watch it. So, um, I give this guy a 9 out of 10. That's because he looks so accurate and the uh, and, uh, other toy, like the Drill and Dirty, he did not have, like, all this plate detail or his plate detail. And this is what they're mad about. Why would I have a normal? Like, why would he be in this stinker gun? That's not what we're supposed to get. Oh, yeah, for the Rat Trap, um, the OG Rat Trap, the Vantage Reissue, I'll give that a, um... What? Well, I guess I, I guess I have to give it like a high one because this, because I think it's very in the night. I guess I'll give him like a nine out of ten too. 
So anyway, guys, that is it for today's class. I really hope you click that subscribe button and like that button. Like, guys, it's not that hard, guys. Like, wow, that guys. But when you click on this video, scroll down a little bit. And before you see some other videos of some other YouTubers, just click that big red subscribe button. It doesn't be, it doesn't do anything. It's like you're gonna have to pay no money, like memberships. You don't have to pay nothing at all. It's free. But all you have to do is sign in. So please sign in and sub to me. As some other YouTubers like Mackenzie Turner, Take Noodles, Creek Crack, and more. Anyway, guys, bye.